Kayda girdik. Ben de oyundayım kulağım yayında. Sen de mi? Sen Witcher'a en baştan mı başladın şimdi? I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need duty. Gotta find him. This. Sen soru işaretlerini bitirdin mi peki? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenford. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find? Sen kaç seviyorsun abi? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but his home. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Hadi ya, arkadaş kırk dolu. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Kaan var ya kırk dolu. Irina Renard's troop. That's all really. And the only deal of them, onsigin onsigiz of men. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Fox's help. All six is level. So if these mummers are ready to help, we need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt he'd want to be surprised. So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play from scratch. Something grand, something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Ben de keyfini oynadım. Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramatic. Az bir kaç. Lessons, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Ben sesini aç. Ben benim sesimi. Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know, Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Molla. Yeah. Hmm. Well, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothed, what? A curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But. At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavel. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. Oh, and everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You Baba, wish to say something? <laughs> we need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's salvation and a changeling rescued or the witch's triumph. Which do you prefer? I could have sworn I was that one. Let's go with the Doppler's salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one. Two thousand and sixteen. Just one. No Doppler's in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. 
I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Mm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. Well, I could put all those well, you this room, yeah, and all that Pick a corner. Sit down. Read silently or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, <laughs> did Itcher? <laughs> just keep quiet. Gerek var mı ya? Bak bizim için bile geçti yani. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but we're fresh out of that. The hidden message to do do. Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or that wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact do do. That was the purpose. Fine. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure, you know where to find her. The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Back again. Olan en korkunç kanalları öldürmek benim işim. Benim görevim sırf para kazanmak değil. Belki de misafirler arasında saklanıyordur, korkuyordur. Görünüşe göre insan yüreği dönüşünce sevgi besleyebiliyor. Fakat benim gibi yüreklerin içi kan ağlar. Ekli dönüşebilen canavar değil. It's a culture, not a troop. This is where Madame Marina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. The process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here, just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though, I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play, and who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. 
Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. We fled Bella. Kırtmal koşam ama burada koşam. Hayır. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed robots. Spare you the business. <laughs> You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on at the same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. You both cough up the coin first, lose, and 
it stays with us. Double your wages, as promised. But if <laughs> I win, I get it back. Ow! Finish him! Got something special like that! Such a lovely trash in hell. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free. Hey, Al. Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Bana ne, niye kafa tutuyorsunuz ki yani? İçeri kafa mı tutulur lan? Guardsmen outside Triss's house. Not good. Tune. Damn sad though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Again. I didn't say nothing. 
So you're the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Think I'd piss me trousers. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Görünce dayanamıyorum arkadaşlar. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Kitap kafasına girdim. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. Huh. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. A 
Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, <laughs> Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... Uh, and no man is my measure. He's swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear.
My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet, in deceit like liars. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. Our hearts torment over. We shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, oh, I will, darling. I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. <sighs> Treason, tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right! I mummers! Don't know the eternal fire's commandments! Blasphemers! All to teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes! Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell! In the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. <gülüyor> Birden bir herkes pisleşti.
Geralt. You recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain Good one chair. thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do do do to me favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh, a fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenford. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Not bad, not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Look at the freak.
Otoskron verdim. İnsan utanır lan. İnsan utanır. Uh, mıh. Siktir. O git. Uh, mıh. Kedi han. Atım kızıl göz gel buraya. Hadi pusu ya. İşte bu kızıl göz. Ne böyle yapıyorsun? Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? This ambush is simpler, because Menge was already planning to move Dandelion to Oxenfurt. Dudu just needs to confirm an order everyone knew Menge was planning to give. If he released Dandelion, he'd need to explain why, probably raise suspicions in the process. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it, sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Got to watch the rains in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. <laughs> Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Even go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay, on one condition. I know, as soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet, and there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure, let's play.
Huh. <laughs> Have a one again. My goodness. Another day she going. So, another ant. If you've no more coin, we could play for. They're coming! They're coming now! They're coming and no. Priscilla, stay here. Birbirimizi kıracağız ya. Help! Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Leave these here to us. That's it, bitch. Watch it. Three more shit. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for We're tracks here. Come on. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Take it easy.
anyone ride through here? Two men, one slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, aye, something of the kind, dash by. Turned left there. But twere a wench she were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. <laughs> Baskı altındaki şair. Hmm. Looks like it might have started limping. Their horse collapsed. Can't be far. By the way, how you get that nickname? I mean, he's even shot for a dwarf. Think you What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out before we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded themselves inside? There's another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Sell a door around the back. Thanks. I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice left, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could ring you up like a trap end you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. You can't. It's worth nothing to you. Whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred oh. gold kingdoms. One gold kingdom. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Peck. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than sergeant today, but tomorrow. Die, damn it! Die! Die! Die! Must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? Are you all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his racing after years. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. When'd you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men.
Bunun dalga mı geçiyorsun oyu? Ah, what an adventure! One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads, and this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this will inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box, the trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Orson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Dorn Ep tonight, Bundro Isne Iakas. Hmm. The curse invokes ugliness. My entire life, don't think I've seen anyone uglier than... Stunning Gemma? No. A certain deformed midget who appeared out of the blue on the shores of Hindersfjall. And now wanders around the Baron's castle. Ugh, you and Siri. Like two water droplets. Never know what either of you are talking about. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Maybe. 
Besides, the curse might have had something to do with Uma. I should collect him from the Baron. Uma? The, uh, deformed midget? What will you do with him? First, lift the curse. Maybe I can get some help at Kaer Morin. After that, who knows? You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Evet arkadaşlar e, süremizin sonuna geldik. Burası az değişmiş. Şu an. Neyse arkadaşlar kendinize çok bir sonraki bölüm.